Welcome to the third set of exercises. This is um, more of a laid-back routine than the last one was. It starts off with a exercise that you might have seen in yoga, but if you haven't, what I'm starting off with is actually touching all parts of my face, just rubbing them and letting myself know that I love myself, that I'm of my face and I want it to be younger and have less wrinkles in it and then you reach over and grab your ears with your fingers and massage your ears sort of knowing that all your nerve endings end in your hands your ears and in your feet so by massaging your ears you're actually massaging your whole body as you do this whole process love yourself think about how much you care about yourself how you want to be healthier and go to the neck after that, kind of give the neck muscles a little bit of a rub. And then over to your shoulders. Work your way around and feel your muscles. If you have a sore shoulder, go ahead and rub it a little bit. Rub your arms and work your way through. Then your wrist, then your hands. And just keep right on going along and then start tapping them. Tapping the tops, tapping the bottoms tapping your chest, keeping in mind that as you touch the surface, that's my um, upper abdominal hernia I'm pushing in right there, as you keep doing this, what you're doing is kind of letting your body know, now I'm switching to my fists and kind of pounding my stomach and my organs, giving them a good pound to wake them up, reaching behind me and pounding my kidneys, my liver area, just a light pounding, I'm not trying to kill myself just to give myself a pounding and then you tap the butt and then work your way down tapping your legs your calves I even feel the tops of my feet a little bit and then I pause at my knees because I really love my knees being functional and I want to let them know I love them and care about them and then working my way back up again this exercise is actually bent around the concept of being able to activate the serotonin and the dopamine levels that are put out by your skin even. Now what you see I'm doing here is actually rotating, get full rotator cup on my arm. First side, going around from the bottom to the top, then do the other side. And you'll notice I'm working my way from across my chest all the way to the farthest point I can go. And then coming back, there's about 25 of these all together on each side. And that's the rotation in one direction. Now I go back and do it opposite direction with the other arm. What this is for is to lubricate your rotator cups because they don't do that after about 40 years old. You have to actually get them to lube up. And also works out any of the buildup in your bursa. Gets the calcium deposits and stuff worked out of there. And gradually gets it so that you can do that without the snap, crackle, and pop that I used to start with. Now, keeping in mind that if you already have shoulder problems, you have to be careful with this. You don't want to aggravate it. I tend to have a little bit of pain in my bursa on my right shoulder, so I try to be careful not to just swing too crazy. Okay, get done with that. Now, the next step here is actually going to be a side to side. Start off just with a light swing. But you'll notice this is actually a breathing exercise as I get going. Now I'm tapping my shoulder as I come around, I'm slapping my shoulder, putting my other palm all the way around behind my waist. And you're supposed to kind of keep your waist locked a little bit and not have this go all the way down into your hips. Um, I'm not keeping my hips locked very well on this one, but I can see that. But again, as I'm breathing, watch I'm breathing in, out so that one side is breathing in and the other side is actually a breathe out. I tap my shoulder each time. I'm actually doing 25 of these. The idea is to somewhat look at it as a rotating the lower body that way and stretching it out good. Letting my arms swing all the way out. That pull of the arms as they go all the way out kind of swings you around and you're breathing as you do it. Now, as you come back to the end, just kind of let your arms relax. 
and then come back into the starting position. This is just to sling your arms and sling your head, flinging out the stress, flinging out the tension, shake it off. Shake it off out of your legs, shake it off out of your feet, shake your arms. The idea is to just kind of get rid of any of that built up stress. Just throw it away. Get rid of it. Even your head. You're kind of flinging your head around a little bit. I know, it makes you look like a rag doll. But that's kind of the idea of it. Just let it go. Oh, and then you get so loose, you almost have trouble standing up again. Yeah. It gets your ear canals really spinning, so it takes a second to get your balance again. For the next one, this is a, a bit of imagination here for you. What you have to do is imagine you're pulling energy, squeezing it together to make a ball of energy in your hands. Now you imagine spinning that ball of energy between your palms all the way back and all the way around and all the way back. And as you do this, you get to grow it a little bit. Each time the ball of energy is expanding a little more. And kind of imagine this ball of energy between your hands as you go. Getting a little bigger each time. The effect of this in part is that you notice how you're going to do your stretch as you go around. You're stretching your body, keeping your feet anchored on all these exercises. You always look at it, keeping your feet anchored to the ground. So the work is in your knees, your waist, your body stretching. Kind of going as far back as you can each time. Keep making that ball bigger and bigger and spinning it around. Ball of energy in your hands. It starts to get a lot bigger. You gotta imagine. Of course, I keep my eyes closed because with your eyes closed, you hold all that energy in. So the only way you have to see is with your third eye and your spiritual energy. And it also causes you that way to work on your balance more. When your eyes are closed, it's a little harder to balance. You can see my ball of energy is getting pretty large now. And as it gets larger, I start leaning over backwards. This is to go ahead and work my stomach muscles out again. Now I start spinning that giant ball all the way around until it's all the way up in the sky. And I'm spinning this ball of energy goes all the way up into the clouds. And now I'm swinging all the way from one side to the other. The idea is to really work that lower back. And you can see I'm just grabbing the bottom of this giant ball and trying to spin it. And going from all the way from one side to the other. When I first started doing this one, boy, I could really feel that back creak when I was trying to go from one side to the other. Now, compress that giant ball, bring it forward, form a circle with your arms. And now you're going to take this circle all the way around and bathe yourself in that energy. All the way back around. Bathe yourself. Run that one arm all the way behind you. The idea is to make that shoulder joint really go all the way around. And I'm carrying that same ball of energy and bathing myself and refilling it. So I'm breathing in, exhale. Breathe in with the belly, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. And you're carrying this ball of energy still around in your arms and you're just washing yourself with this incredible ball of energy. Each time you go around you try to go as far back as you can and then spin and then take that shoulder all the way around and now it's going to get exciting because we're going to go ahead and do a full lower waist. As you do this you see you're stretching that working the there you go all the way around this is working that lower spine, works those stomach muscles, helps in your balance, keeping in mind you still got that nice giant ball of energy and then you're going all the way back, all the way forward. I'm doing five of these in one direction and then carry it back the other way, all the way around. This really works your lower spine and gets it all straightened out. Also, your stomach muscles are getting a little bit of workout because going all the way back. Back muscles get a little workout because going all the way forward. 
this is eventually you do five of these and then you go ahead and bring it back and wash yourself one more time again you're bathing yourself with this energy that you're holding in your arms and getting that shoulder to sweep around now you press that all back down again The next exercise is really, again, a breathing exercise, and it focuses your Don Chen to the belly. So when I pull that one arm, I breathe with my belly. Second arm, I breathe with my chest. When you push out, you exhale and press all that down into your lower Don Chen, the lower part of your gut. So in, now out. Now so I'm pressing down so that your belly button moves against the back of your spine. Breathe in, belly out press. You go to each side when you do this. The idea is to kind of stretch out those side muscles. Stretch out the back. Push out as hard as you can so you're really working your triceps when you're doing this. And you're breathing. Come in, belly and chest. Press it down to the belly to exhale. Pushing out Tightening it up, pull it back in, belly, chest. And you notice I crotch a little bit, crouch. The idea behind that is to go ahead and focus that power down into your lower Don Chen. Push out, push out. Turn your whole body, twist it really good. Pull back in, breathe belly, chest. And push it all down again. Tightening that belly up to push out the air. So you're pushing it down. Breathe with your belly. Breathe with your chest. Next exercise is actually a pranayama breathing exercise. In other words, you're breathing all the way out. Totally exhausted. Holding the air out. Go down. Breathe in with the belly. About a five count. And I'm moving my arms around imagining that I'm absorbing energy. Now I bring it up through the chakras around your head and push it out. Push out, you have no breath in your lungs. Quietly go down, now you breathe into the belly. And after you breathe, you just keep running your hands around and you now bring it up. What I find is about the third or the fourth one, I started getting some beautiful colors. This is Again, nice and slow with no air in your lungs. You breathe into the belly. You're moving your arms around with your eyes closed. You're getting all this energy build up. You bring it up through your chakras, up through your main energy zones to the middle. Push it out through your head. You exhale entirely, holding it. Inhale to the belly. And you're holding it. And pull that energy up through your chakras. You're exhaling right here. Exhale, exhale. All your air is gone. Empty lungs. Nice and gentle. Empty lungs. Take a deep breath to your belly. Circling and gathering up all that energy down there. By the time I'm done with about the fourth or fifth one, I'm getting purples and reds in my vision. Bring it up. All the way out, empty lung. Back down again. Breathe with your belly. Fill it and then just keep on holding. You're holding a full lung. Hold that full lung and then bring it out, exhale. As you bring it out and exhale, you raise it up through there. See my stomach tightening up as I exhale. All the way out, empty lung. Back down, breathe in, visualize that beautiful purple, pull it back up again. Each of these times you envision that energy coming up through the middle of your body, nice and slow with no lung in your air, air in your lungs. Again. Absorbing that energy after you inhale. Just keep taking the energy in, even if you can't inhale anymore. 
and bring all that energy that's in your hands up through and then around over your head and out. You've exhausted all your air again. You can do about 10 of these. Part of it's a good core exercise. You're leaning over like this, building up the leg muscles and the core. Up through, pull that out, exhale, tighten that belly up. Exhale, holding that air. Now I usually bring this up. And I do an I usually do that, take a nice deep breath in my belly, do two of those ohms. The idea behind an ohm in this case is you're putting that noise up through your, kind of in your nasal area, nasal cavities, sinuses, and that causes them to vibrate. That causes them to generate more brain cells. They're actually created up in that part of your brain. Then you go up into this mountain pose, pressing up as high as you can and holding it with your ankles together. Holding it up there, stretching and then bringing it back down. And another deep breath and one more ohm. And carry that ohm on as long as you can. Exhaling nice and gradual. Focusing some of that up into that upper sinus cavity so that you vibrate it. That vibration helps to activate and trigger that brain cell production.